Next step is to install Inertia.js and to do that let's go to the documentation of Inertia.js there is installation I will go first to the server side I will require this one remember we cannot use composer that is installed on our machine we have to use the composer that is installed in Laravel application in our application and to do that I will write sale then whatever I copied from before I will hit enter now it says sale is not running that's because we brought it down so I will go back to this one and it was sale down that we made here so I will say sale up then dash uh, D for detach mode Again, I will run the composer again. That was finished. Then we go to create a new template, a new blade template. So there is one that is used usually with for the welcome. I will just change this layout into something else which is app.blade it should be app.blade so we can use the defaults immediately out of the box then there is this middleware we have to run this command and again remember sale at the beginning then php artisan next there is this single line that we have to add to the kernel file And it's under web so I will paste it here and for the rest it can wait now let's go to the client side I will make sure that I am choosing react I will install react code here and seal npm install by the way, I have tried both sale npm and local npm on my machine and both worked fine, but I will stick to that anything in my project has to go through the sale first. Now that's done, let's move to initializing the app. We grab this code and we go to app.js paste it save here we have to create a folder called pages it will be under js folder resources js folder then there is also a progress bar so I'd like to use this progress bar so if we just paste the installer and then we copy the initialization of the progress bar so it will be in there it is important to know that react dom is not a dependency by default for inertia so to fix that we have to install it manually I always keep React and React DOM installed together just as a preference. I believe we are ready now for inertia setup. And if we need to see the changes, we have to do the following. Um, we go to web. Instead of welcome, view welcome, it will be inertia. Render and I will be looking for a page called home so here under pages folder I will create home.gsx and this file will contain a react functional component that has only word 
home for now and let's check if this is going to work yeah so now we can see home and that means that our application is working fine so far so let's move into another step which is installing Tailwind CSS we go to the docs there is there is a guide for Laravel we grab this one copy it paste then we grab this npx Tailwind CSS which is going to create a file for us this file is called tailwind config and this file we are going to update its content to match these except instead of having view, J view file I will be looking for JSX I will be adding Tailwind CSS here to the webpack mix here paste we save this one as well we go to the app CSS inside the resources and we paste whatever we grab there this one then it says to run watch if it's the first time that you run watch it will ask you to run watch uh, two times as you can see the watcher successfully ran now of course we're not going to see any difference it's still the same however if we go to the components of Tailwind UI before that before we do that we have to install a few things for that to run this is already installed and in this step you can add a font I'm not going to do that now but what is important for us is this using react you can install some dependencies and they are headless UI and hero icons so we go back to our terminal I will terminate the watcher sale and What is it this one yeah okay I didn't copy it now that's done we can move into creating our components and the one that is similar it's here right here and the components the one that is similar to what we have seen earlier which is this one is basically in the first one in the hero section we go to the there is a dark one this one so to copy it make sure that you select the act and copy the content home JSX replace everything and here it says that we need the Tailwind CSS form so I will install it first so sale npm install the form and this line it has to go under plugins in the Tailwind config we paste this one as well this comment now is not needed anymore and we save this one instead of example I will change it to home now that's done let's go to our localhost and refresh excellent so now we have our demo setup so now our next step is to customize this design to look more like this one 